In this tutorial, we're gonna see how to create an old film effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This will be mainly done in Premiere, but for the final touches, we're gonna use After Effects for the dust overlay. This should be quick and easy, and all you have to do is follow my instructions to get this nice looking old film effect and add it to your videos. Let's get started. So right here we have our video that we want to work with. The first thing we gotta do is change its color. Go to the effects panel and search for the tint effect. Drag it onto your video clip. The color of the video as you can see changed to black and white. We don't necessarily want that so we're gonna change the map color from white to kind of a yellowish color. There you go. That already should make the video look old. Now let's add a black bar on the top and at the bottom of our clip. To do this, go back to the effects panel again and add the linear wipe effect. In the effect controls, change the transition value to 15% and the wipe angle to 0 degrees. That should make our first black bar. And now let's add one at the top. Select this effect like this and with your keyboard, control C then control V to paste it. Leave the transition to 15% and change the wipe angle to 180 degrees. There you go. That should make the black bars on the top and at the bottom of our video. This plays the role of making the video clip be in a sort of like a frame. The next step of this tutorial is to add an effect to the edges of these bars. In the effects panel, search for roughen edges. Change the border value to 15 and the scale to something like 30. As you can see we have added a nice effect to these edges of the video frame. And now let's sell the idea of the old film effect by adding a circle effect. Drag it onto the video, change the color to a yellowish color, click OK, and then change the blending mode to add. Increase the feather value to 500. And then place this circle effect on the top like this. Now that we have that out of the way, we can add a rough urgency effect to the video clip. To do that, search for the strobe light effect, drag it onto here, change the color of the strobe to a light yellow color, make the blend with original value 95%, decrease the strobe period and the strobe duration a little bit like this, then click on the strobe operator and change the settings to add, and then increase the random strobe probability to 900%. Now you can't really see what we have done because we haven't rendered the effects yet and my PC is trash. So if we go to sequence, render effects in to out, now you can see the progress that we made. We still have more things for us to cook though, so let's go back to the effects panel, search for grid, drop that onto the timeline and change the size to width and height sliders. Let's go ahead and change this real quick before I get a seizure. Scale up the width as much as possible so we have one vertical line on the screen like this. Then scale the height so we don't have any horizontal lines. Change the position of this line to either the left or the right. Change the border value to 2 and change the blending mode of our line to screen. You can decrease the opacity a little bit to make it more natural. And then what you want to do is go back to the beginning. Click on the anchor stopwatch, move about 5 frames forward and move to the right. Then go 5 frames forward again and go back to the left. Do this over and over again. And you can select your keyframes and copy them using Ctrl C and then paste them with Ctrl V to speed up the process. At the end we should have a scratching movement to our clip. You can then select all of these effects that we made and basically save them as a preset. Name this uh, old film preset. Click OK. And you can use it now on any clip you want in the future without having to make this work every single time. Now, if you want to move to the next level with this, walk the extra mile, you can add a noise dust overlay using After Effects. If you don't have After Effects, I uploaded this overlay on my channel and basically you can download it and in Premiere, change its blending mode to screen. And then have these dust particles flying around. But if you want to make this yourself and mess around with the settings, 
Open up After Effects, create a new composition with a duration of your choice, name it something like uh, Dust Overlay, create a black solid layer, go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Fractal Noise, drag it onto the solid layer, and basically just drag the contrast all the way up to 500, and the brightness all the way down to minus 200 or minus 300. Then go to Evolutions, expand it, and hold Alt on your keyboard, and click on the stopwatch of random seats at the same time. Right here type in the exact uh, same phrase I'm typing. You can choose a different value other than 5. You can uh, choose if you want the dust particles to move in a fast or slow pace. We'll just leave it there, and we will export our clip. Come back to Premiere Pro and drag your dust clip on top of your original video and in the effect controls change the blend mode to screen and you can change the opacity as well. What you also can do for the final touches is lower the FPS of this clip. Right click on your clip and choose replace with after effect composition. Basically search for posterize time effect. Drag it, then simply change the frame to 10 or 15, because that's the frame rate of the old film camera. If you don't have After Effects, in Premiere, go to Project Panel and right click on your timeline clip. Click on Modify, Interpret Footage, check this Assume Frame Rate, and choose any frame rate of your choice. And there you go, that's how you create an old film effect inside of Premiere Pro. Like I said, if you don't have After Effects, just simply go to the video I have in the description that's about the dust overlay. In the description of that video, you can download the overlay and put it on top of your clip. Simple and easy. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to learn more editing techniques, feel free to watch this next tutorial.